Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here and I've got more news from CES that I want to cover and in this video I want to talk to you about tablets. 2011 at CES, tablets were really big and they haven't really been that big this year, 2012, but I want to cover a few tablets that were announced so let's go ahead and get started. The first tablet I want to talk about is the new Pantech Element, which is coming to AT&T January 22nd. So it's just a little over a week away from uh, being released. It features a 1.5 dual core processor, 16 gigabits of storage, and a micro SD slot for expansion of your storage. Also, it has an 8 inch screen and will be shipping with Gingerbread 3.2. So there's no word on an update to Ice Cream Sandwich yet but uh, we'll probably hear something later on. So the Element's gonna set you back $300 on contract or $450 off contract. The second tablet I wanna talk about is the ZTE T98, which is running Ice Cream Sandwich, so Android 4.0. This is a Tegra 3 powered tablet, and it's branded as a Chinese mobile device. Uh, it offers a 1280 by 800 WXGA display along with NVIDIA's quad-core CPU underclocked to 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, one gig of RAM and a five megapixel rear camera with no LED flash and 1080p video capture and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. So, and you have a 4,000 milliamp battery as long with that as well. So there's no word on availability or pricing yet on this tablet, but uh, when we see this, I'll have more information on it. The next tablet I want to talk about, guys, is a Novo's Novo 7 Basic. Now, there's four different versions of this actually out there, uh, and this one I'm talking about is called the Basic, but this one uh, runs Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, it also has uh, 1 gigahertz MIPS-based X-Burst CPU, and it's only in the pre-order stages right now, I guess, here in the United States, and some of them actually run, run Gingerbread or honeycomb versions too so it depends you're really gonna want to uh, check out what one you're getting so you make sure you're getting the one that runs uh, Android 4.0 so but the nice thing about this tablet is that it is a sub $100 tablet $99 for this tablet is what I saw on their website so you can check this out on the internet and uh, really get some more information on it there the next tablet I want to talk about today, guys, is the Samsung Galaxy Note. Now, some people have called this a phablet, I think is how you say it, but uh, that's because it's a phone and slash tablet, so because um, it's so big, it has such a big screen, but uh, it has a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor, a 5.3 inch uh, WXGA display, which is uh, HD Sumer Super AMOLED display. It runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread. It has an 8 megapixel uh, camera on the back with LED flash and a front facing 2 megapixel camera. Um, also has uh, Bluetooth, USB 2.0 in there, accelerometer, uh, 16 gigabits of internal memory, and a micro SD card slot, which you can uh, put up to 32 gigs of memory in there as well. Also ha shoots 1080p full HD video recording and playback at uh, 30 frames per second. So uh, there's no uh, release date or pricing on this as of yet, but uh, expect that to come up uh, probably in the first quarter of this year. The last tablet I want to talk about today, guys, is the Asus ePad Transformer Prime. Now, this tablet is not new. It's already out there and available for purchase right now, and it features uh, NVIDIA's Tegra 3 quad-core processor and the ability to turn into a laptop. It also runs Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, but they announced at CES this year that they are going to upgrade come out with a new version, an upgraded version that has a 1920 by 1080 screen. So it's going to have a 1080p panel, which is going to make it incredibly sharp. Now there's no information on availability or price as of yet. If you guys have any comments, leave those down below in the comments section. I'll answer those as best as I can. And if you guys are planning on getting any of these tablets, let me know down below there as well in the comments section. Uh, which one do you like the best? Which one do you think is going to come close to beating the iPad? Uh, let me know down below in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button as it always helps me out. And you can hit the subscribe button up at the top to be notified of all my new videos on your YouTube homepage. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.